Okay, I just went ahead and grabbed the USB stick. Can't even see it down there. And, uh, see if it recognizes it. Last time I think that's actually what I ended up doing. <coughs> that worked. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> there. Now that's yummy. That's what the yummy looks like. And uh, I've got some system tools on there. This is, I've got two, uh, one with Yummy and another one I built, another, that other USB stick's built with Sardu too. And I got Butte Repair, Butte Repair, Boot Repair Disk 32 on it. That was the first time I used it, and, uh, or lately anyway. And uh, DRBL Live, that's pretty cool. That's Diskless Remote Bootable. It's fun to play with. You can uh, boot up to this and then uh, boot other machines uh, to this uh, domain operating system via the network. You have to have a separate router without or turn off either. Have I have another old router that I don't use, so I just turned off the... Uh, what did I do? Oh, okay, that's what I meant to do. Turn off the uh, IP address server. forgot the right word for it. Um, and then it'll, because it serves up IP addresses. So, uh, antivirus tools. I've already used all these. Yeah, Cronus and ESET, that's the last ones I used. Uh, so, my whole po point here is actually what I'll do, which one does it boot up into really fast? I think if I boot it up, I'm just going to boot DRBL. I think it's pretty quick. And uh, I'll just hit enter and let it boot. And then I'll shut it down from within the operating system and maybe that'll stop my problem. And. Uh, Oh, my hand's hurting. I'm holding this. This is my phone that's in the cassette case, which actually, in some ways, makes it easy to hold on to. I don't normally hold it. I normally set it down to get a still shot. Uh, oh, well, tell me, this won't boot on this machine. I didn't think about it doing that. Oh, I think it did work. There was a bunch of errors, and I was beginning to think. Sometimes it'll go. They'll, they'll, these systems will go on past the errors and figure out what to do. But yeah, it's, it's doing okay. This wasn't the one. <laughs> Which mode do you prefer? Okay, O is what I prefer. Where's my O? Can't see my keyboard with this here. I know everybody knows where I know where it is, but uh, like I said, I get I'm not a multitasker. I get confused when I'm trying to do too many things at once. I think I did it right, but uh, for instance, picking the longest way around the block. But, ow. There it is. So that's uh, and actually, actually the highest resolution I think I've seen it do. I, I, they might be able to manually set it, but but it would be kind of neat for um, I have these two old. I'm gonna sh go down there and show what I'm talking about. WYSE. When they're called wind turns, and actually. That's what this Lenovo i5 is too. It's just a newer version of a wind term. It runs Win 7 and it, it's got a lot more power to it. But uh, these are uh, Pentium 1 class. They have 512 megabytes of a IDE SD card never saw one before never heard of one before until I got those they were given to me so that's all all the space all the disk space you have on them 
they have well one of them had, they all each one had 256 megabyte of memory but one of them I had three of them one of them wouldn't boot it was something wrong with it hardware wise and so um, I put 512 in one and 256 in the other and I've played with other several different operating systems the only thing that would fit on that card was Puppy Linux and still run the thing and uh, I actually was wanting to make TV watching boxes out of them, but uh, with X X uh, BMC, but uh, they didn't have enough video uh, memory in them. So uh, re anyway, recently I came. I've I've used this DRBL once years ago, and then it's harder. It wasn't. You had to do a lot of manual setup to get it to work. I don't know if I ever got it to work, but uh, this worked really easily. So you know you could set this up somewhere as a server put those out in the garage and wherever and then when you turn them on you know they, they just run from here and also you can store your files in here where your com rest of your computers are and uh, be kinda cool so anyway uh, I uh, haven't tried that yet because uh, because I misplaced the power supplies they have brick power supplies and I, I had them out in the garage and I set them somewhere in a box or something and I haven't been able to find them for a long time but, and I moved them in here and I went and looked for the power supplies and couldn't find them so anyway uh, but I have played with this with my other machines I booted a couple laptops to it and stuff and it works really well surprisingly well We're going over just a hundred megabits internet connection ethernet connection <coughs> not internet <coughs> but um, and actually, I think when you booted, I booted them up on the laptop, I think they actually, the resolution was fit, you know, more, not so uh, low. This is like 640 or whatever. So, uh, way too much about all this, but I, I, so I also sidetrack easily. But anyway, it's a full domain operating system, and you can do several, quite a bit of other stuff with it. And, uh. It could actually be, I, I could actually, for myself, I could actually see myself using it because... I have a couple of oh, three. I have a 350, a, three, a 500 megahertz, a 350 megahertz gateways out in the garage, and they, you know, you can't, you can look up stuff on Google, but you can't watch a video or anything on them. And um, uh, um, and if I want to get to anything in here, then I will. This one over here that's not running. That was my main machine, but now it's got like four hard drives in it, and it's only a core two. But uh, it's turning. I turn it basically as my backup server now, so I can turn it on. That's what I used to do. Uh, I don't have that set up on my um, Lenovo, but I would use remote desktop with VNC remote desktop, and um, and I can control it from out in the garage, and I can do my surfing. And you can't watch videos again because you know the, there's not enough bandwidth on my 100 megabits network connections. I don't have any. I got one machine that'll do a gigabit. Well, maybe two. Yeah, this this AS Rock will do gigabit, and I think maybe the Lenovo i5 will too, but my routers won't. So, so it's a moot point. So anyway, enough of all that junk. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? <coughs> I'm gonna put this in here in the other slot while this is running. This may be how I figured it out, made it start working again last time. That's my little adapter with a 32 gigabyte SD card in it. I'm just going to put this in here in the other USB slot. Can't see anything but a little light, can you? Okay, now I'm going to put You know what? I wish I had a. I don't know if this one will auto mount it. Fedora, I'm so used to. Door just auto automatically mounting anything that I plug in. Oop. Okay. Some some systems you single click and some you double click, but you see how you can barely use. What did I do? I think I have two. No, it was just one. It's a double click. It just has a weird window. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look like. It's seen it. Some of them you have to get in the t terminal and mount stuff. And that's no good. Especially these. Uh, let's see. I have to stick this thing up almost 
to my nose is almost touching it to get the whole screen in there and still reach my mouse and my keyboard. I don't know if this one has G parted in it. I was thinking, well, I'll just use G parted to mount it. This wasn't the best choice. Oh, oh, bulk rename. Yeah, Thunar. That might have been what I was already in. Thunar will usually do that. But that's what I was already in. Uh, at, but you, sometimes you, I think there's some add-ons you have to install to get it to do that. Because it's not seeing it. Go to run. Oh no. You don't have to go to run. You go to media and domain. Fedora changed to run user or something. It's really crazy. Hard to find. There's a run mount in there. You tab file in there. That's got to do with mounting stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so. Well, I'm just going to shut this down. I was going to reboot. I was going to mount it, reboot, and then. Uh, thinking that it would probably see it. The machine would see it. I'm going to shut it down. And I'm going to take out the USB stick and leave that. And once it gets booted up, I'm going to leave it alone this time and just see if it sees it and does it. If it sees it, it'll just go straight to it. Did not see it. I always move to a different different selection with my keyboard right quick to stop the countdown. Um, boy, that is the most aggravating thing. And I don't know what it is. It's happened on more than one machine. So it must have something to do with the way SD cards are re read by these machines. Turn it off. Take it out. Let's see. This one has a Linux thing. This one has a... I'm over here fiddling around with my deciding what USB stick to grab. Let me get the other one. And, uh, this should be... This will be another Sardu. Got to be f faster than I am to. I was thinking I'd hit F11 to show what the choices are there, but okay, yeah, Linux. I'm just gonna boot into. I think I have a Fedora on here. Yeah, Fedora Live Security. Oh, I don't know if this machine's a 64-bit. I guess we'll have to find out. <clears throat> See, it'll start in five seconds. I'm going to hit enter and get it going. So, uh, I'm going to hit escape. Of course, you can, I think you, you can hit anything, but I always hit escape. That's what I'm used to. That way I can see the boot menu. You can see any errors that are coming, if there's any errors or anything. And, uh... <coughs> so my sidetracks make me... Make, I always try to do these videos where I wouldn't have to edit them, but I get so much bad stuff in them and sidetracks. They all need editing. <coughs> and then... <clears throat> I gotta have a drink. And I use, I have so many videos that I've never got around to editing or uploading because I, I didn't want to upload them crappy. And then I get, anyway, well, I've uploaded a bunch of them. Finally, I just uploaded them. 
let Google Photos upload them, and then I moved them over to YouTube. But then I lost all my file names, so they're out of order, and they were a series. So that wasn't so great. <coughs> so okay, so here we go. My what I was talking about. Everything on that side. That's all the drives that are all. Uh, they may not be mounted. I don't think they're mounted. I think you click on them, then they mount. But uh, now I'm gonna put this <coughs> in here. Put my little stick in there. Ah, my keyboard. The corner of my keyboard catches my elbow, and that hurts. Okay, so it's in there. If I tried to show from way back here, all you get, well, you might see it better, but I couldn't reach it from back here. Anyway, um, okay, there it is. It's called in its sardine. So, uh, this is one of the reasons why I like Fedora so much. Because I do this a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things about Fedora that are more automatic than uh, the Bane. The Bane's a really good system too, but and the Bane uses a lot less resources. So if you have a lower resource machine, like something, anything under two gig of RAM and uh, two, and around two gigahertz, then you probably want to use the Bane or something that's stripped down more. Some kind of uh, Linux, other Linux. Okay, so there it is. Mount it up. There's all my different folders with all the different th operating systems that I can boot. And I made me a folder with file when I want to save particular files from the work I'm doing on a machine in there too. So, uh, where does it show? I don't know what file manager I'm using. Thunor. But I don't see, usually, you know, most of them show you how much space is on that disk. Okay, well, I was just curious. I, I mean, I was just wanting to mention it, but, uh, oh, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff on here because, yeah, and that. I'm getting ready to reinstall my Windows 7 on my laptop. I may mean, actually all three of my Windows 7, two of them are going to have to be reinstalled, and may, maybe this one that I'm trying to work on the AS Rock too. So, and I'm going to try using. I've done it a couple of different ways, but I'm going to try using this SD card and uh, use Hiren, Hiren's boot CD has a uh, setup in it to, uh, or is it, is it Hiren's or Mini? Yeah, Hiren's at boot CD has Mini XP on it. Yeah. HBCD, yeah, it has uh, it has an app in it that will let you install your operating system, help you install your operating system from an ISO. So I'm gonna see if that'll work, because it looks like it'll be easier than I did it the last time I did it on the laptop. <coughs> it, you can't do it from the uh, DVD drive because it uh, it's too slow and it keeps getting read errors, or it's just worn out, you know, old and worn out or whatever. But uh, I. Uh, Ended up making partitions on it, 32, uh, making a 32, a PAT32 partition, and uh, putting all the files on there and doing it from there. I had to use two different apps and follow instructions, and it wasn't too hard. But I just, it was involved enough. I had to, you know, I couldn't just remember it and do it. I had to follow instructions, so it was kind of a pain. I don't remember it all now. It's been a couple, three years. Okay, so what am I gonna do? That's Let's see, I wonder if shutting it down. See, I, if I try to reboot and yank out the USB, half the time you yank it out at the wrong time, and that causes trouble. So I'm going to shut down and hope that this made it see. I have a loving. Ow, I keep doing that. My, uh, leave the <coughs> other one in there. The, the guy, the drawer guide on my keyboard, it's it's metal and it sticks out about a half an inch from the end. And when you bump into that, that hurts. I don't know why they did that. Okay, so uh, it's still not fixing it. So I guess I'm 
too hard headed to do what probably would work within you know took me about two minutes that's unplugging that machine that may be what I had to do I really can't remember is the thing but for some reason I wish I could remember that if you hard shut down if it hangs up trying to boot something this is the one I'm pretty sure it hangs up trying to boot something for some reason it doesn't want to recognize the uh, SD card and I've tried to be I wasn't there's only one other thing. We'll see. It, it's real loose in there, but it was it was mounted. This machine has, you probably can't see that, it has SD card reader built into it, but it doesn't work. The person I got it from, the original motherboard uh, had bad cap syndrome, and they were, there was a couple, two pop caps, and three or four that was about ready to pop, and... Uh, Anyway, I traded them for part of the labor on building them a new system for this, because I, I already had this AS Rock motherboard that I knew would work in it. They wanted a new system. I, I could have just put that AS Rock in there for them, but they didn't want that. They wanted a brand new system. So, uh, anyway, once I got it over here, I tried using the slots, and I figured out that they had tried to jam something in one of these and they had made the pin, a bunch of the pins touch each other and they were just sitting there that way. So I'm sure it shorted out the electronics. Burned it up. So I'm going to turn it on again. I put it in a different slot. <coughs> ah. I was going to try to hit F11 this time. <coughs> I'm going to hit Control Alt Delete. I'm going to try messing around in the BIOS or something. Let's see. So F2 will get me in the BIOS. Yeah, tab to switch screen. This is BIOS has more stuff in it. But it more at the very beginning there and then less and like all these other biases I'm used to you have you can manually you can go down here and you can add you can tell it you know look for look for add in cards look for this look for that and this one I guess is automatic mostly you can check you can say boot LAN boot numlock on that's really odd I saw an article how today I didn't read it but before I started this it said how to get your Linux system to boot up with numlock on well you do it in BIOS what the heck are you talking about I didn't read it but I've never had any problem since two, I started with Linux in 2005 I've never had any problem with many different systems I've never had any problem getting it to boot to numlock so I don't know what that's about because if I want to know I'll have to read it I'm reading the menus now all of it instead of just the part on the left I'm not loading the vault default settings. Well, maybe I keep thinking that's what I'm. On. I keep thinking about that, seeing that going. Low default settings. Hmm. What would low default settings do? That would probably make. I mean, I'd find it loading default settings in just the boot menu, but I don't want to load overall default settings because then I got to go all the way through my BIOS and make it. Let me see. Yeah, load BIOS defaults. Okay, so that is just boot. There on the bottom right. Go to subscreen. Enter. Up and down. Of course, I've been doing all that. There's one BIOS. I, that Lenovo i5 has some crazy. You can't. It, it's not normal. And you have to do some crazy things to get stuff to happen. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. Um, load defaults. So if I hit F9, I think it'll do it. Let's try it. No, load BIOS default. No, it was exactly what I was afraid of. I'm not doing that. Okay. Temperature, advanced. Wait, storage configuration? Ah. Oh. 
enable Longboard IDE, enable SATA, Operation Mode IDE, RAID, oh, okay, yeah, I want that. Okay, Master Hard Disk, not Detected Slave. Still not saying anything about it's just all your hard disk settings. And this would be so evidently we've got four SATA slots on this motherboard. I couldn't really I don't really remember, it's been too long since I've seen it. Sorry. Nose was itching so bad. Okay. Um, so there's nothing in there I can do. So it seems. Then there's instant flash, which is changing the memory. Wait. Support. Oh, yeah. BIOS update utility. Yeah, we, we're not doing that. I don't want to get out of here altogether. So, as you, you know, from the beginning there, everything was great. And then, this, I didn't remember this BIOS was such a pain in the butt. I guess because I installed that. All I have on this system is Windows 7, and I don't use it very often, but lately I have been using it. And the thing that stinks is, uh, I really do need to clean this one up if I can and not have to reformat it because I have put all my, my, well I filled it up basically with uh, all my videos I've been making with my new phones and I don't have any more another place to put them I don't have any more sp disk space so you know if I had to reformat it I would have to uh, wait until I can get another you know until I can have more get more disk space or I would have to blow all my videos. And I've got them uploaded to Google Photos, but they cut down the quality a lot because I set this up at as the quality I could get, 30, 30 frames per second. And of course, they wouldn't change that, but my uh, some of them I did at 20 megabits, and then I realized, well, that's just... F <laughs> I was getting 6 megabyte, six uh, gigabyte files, you know, and so uh, I had to... Uh, or like a, this video would it ended up being like you know 20 30 gigabytes or something so as long as it's been so it was something like six gigabyte for 30 minutes or something so anyway um went down to 10 and i may need to go down lower than that i mean if you can't see the difference it doesn't matter but i wanted them to be as high quality as they could be so uh but if you upload them, to the, I need to upload some of these to YouTube and just see, and then 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 download them again or look at them. Yeah, I think I'd have to download them to see the uh, what they've done to them. But um, uh, I know that a lot of people who use you know, like when everybody started to getting HD cameras, you know, 1080Ps and stuff. Um, of course, 1080p, that's just a video resolution. That's I'm shooting 1080p, but there's a whole lot more to the quality of the video than just that. So anyway, uh, people are doing 4K right now, and uh, they're all, you know, first thing, somebody that they say, well, darn YouTube uh, knocked you down, you know. You're not seeing my 4K. It sucks, you know. So uh, I need to figure out what they're knocking it down to, or if they knock mine, like these here, they may be under the under the bar to where they won't knock them down any and that's why I would like to keep them the originals and uh, until I get hopefully to get to edit them and upload them and and uh, I don't want to keep the originals if I possibly can anyway um, this is getting aggravating so 
I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm just going like a like a hamster on a running wheel. I'm not doing anything here. Um, I I've seen all these little thing tricks. These are tricks that do work on a lot of my machines. I have when this kind of thing happens, but uh, obviously they're not working now. So exit. Um, since I've been messing around in there, discard changes and exit. That's what I'm going to do because I, I don't want to mess something up. Because the way my settings were was good. Sometimes you know you're flipping around real fast, you change something, you don't even realize it. So it just keeps on wanting to go to the hard drive. Even though. You know, that one goes off instantly instead of waiting four seconds. And usually waiting four seconds gives the machine time to actually close things down before it shuts down. I thought I must need to change that. So, uh, this mother phone is charging. Here's my little USB stick. And that's just the cover. So, that's my KVM switch that I used to switch between four different machines, but I have a, more than four machines in here, so I'm always having to plug and unplug. Basically everything in the rack, the laptop, those down there, laptop up here, which I use every night to watch TV, and then these machines down here, I have to move my USB and VGA cable to between them. And... Uh, of course, to get to this machine, it's the one furthest over. Well, I can only get in on that side. This whole side is blocked. Well, I mean, I could crawl under there, but I would be so covered in dust, I'd be coughing my head off. I'd need a shower. <coughs> so, and that's my server over there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and if and they. All of the I can't run the WYSCs right now, so I have five machines that I do run, and there's another laptop over there in the corner too. That and one in a four port switch. So anyway, um, there's another one down there. My old server is down on the floor. So okay, I'm gonna stop now. Quit rambling and. Uh, We'll see what what I just how what I decide to do. Okay, bye.